And and this was all cocaine or other drugs as well? No. You see, people don't understand, bro, like the cocaine. Cocaine was good. But the money is you got to do both. It's the dope and the coke. Because once again, you kidding me? Don't get me wrong, crack was good. And you learn a lot from that shit. But to me, what helped me to make 40 a day was the dope. You know what I'm saying? Period. So you doing both. All right. The heroin. Yeah. Okay. And where were, where were these drugs coming from? The, uh, we had a connection, especially with the heroin, was with, you know, was this guy, Chinese guy named John. And despite he was Chinese, he was getting it from the Pakistan. And he was getting some good shit. All right. So this whole thing is running. Millions of dollars are being made. And then Pappy Mason gets locked up. Pappy was locked up. Pappy got locked up back in what? I say October 1985 after the Bryant Rooney murder. He got locked up then. Pappy laid up from October 1985 and he went to trial in February of 1988. And, no, January 1988. And when he went to trial for the Rooney murder, he got a hung jury. So they lowered his bail from 500000 to 300000 and he got bailed out. And once he got bailed out, he was out for 10 days. So the DA rushed him back to trial because when he got arrested, he got arrested with a derringer and his boots. So they took him back to trial and they convict him on that derringer. So that, you know, that's just to put the hole back on him. So once he went back in, that's when the burn should happen. Okay. So the Burns thing, that Edward Burns, he was a NYPD rookie officer, 22 years old. And there was a, a Guyanese immigrant that lived on a drug block and would always call the police. Mm -hmm. And I guess his house had been firebombed already a couple of times. So Edward Burns was stationed in front of his house to essentially protect him. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the whole situation yeah. happened. But like you say, that guy needs was never in jeopardy. The key was right now, when that hit was made, the, the cop was the target. The guy needs was never, that was not even in the play or anything. It was just like right now, catching an officer off guard. And just so happened, Edward Burns. The, fun, the crazy part about that was, I think a night or two before that, it was a lady, it was a young, black young lady that was in the car. And they didn't do it because it was a young black lady. So uh, a female cop. It was a female cop. It was a young black female cop that was in the car. So right now is that's why they didn't do it. Well, what had happened that night was two guys were lookouts. One guy uh, walked up, uh, McClary. So they say, snuck up on the driver's side of the car. Another guy tapped on the window to, to distract wake, him. To wake him yeah. up. To wake him up. Oh, he was asleep? To wake him up. Okay. And as he, he looked over at the other guy, McClary uh, shot him multiple that, times. That's what they say. Uh, five times, I believe, and killed him. At which point, all hell broke loose. And, and they said that Pappy Mason was the one that ordered the hit. Yes. Can you talk about that part? Yeah, I can talk about that part. Um, even when that happened, that day, that night, that morning rather, I just left that block. And it was me and Bug Out. I left there. I probably had like 40,000, 50,000 cash on me that day. And when that happened, it's like the very next day, I got a call, a page. I was getting paged. And the page I was getting, like, you know, like back then, like 911. So when I called it back, it was a guy that had this bodega that me and Bug Out was down on. So he got, he was a Spanish guy. I could barely understand what he was saying. But he was saying cops was everywhere. So as he was telling me, like, you know, cop was everywhere. So I'm trying to say, you know what? They must be have seen something that a sale was made. Don't worry about it. Something's going to happen. They're going to leave. But I didn't understand what was going on at the time because I had just gotten up. But as I sat in my Cypress headquarter and then the news like, you know, came on where as far as like, you know, the radio station, we interrupt this program and they start talking about, 
a rookie police was executed, execution style, on 107 in Inwood. I'm like, whoa, oh shit. Now that's why the heat is on. So during that period of time, my mind is racing. Like for something to happen of that magnitude in our area, chances are I would have knew about it ahead of time based upon my position. But I didn't know. So I was kind of feeling warm and fuzzy about it that that hit didn't come from us. So all day long, I stay home. I stay at my Cypress apartment. I'm getting calls from everybody. I'm getting calls from people in Rikers Island, people in prison. Pappy called me back and forth with Cat girlfriend because nobody heard from Cat. So what wound up happening, I waited till the end of the night when it got pitch black. And then I went to Queens because Queens at that time was so hot that you can take a cigarette and lit a cigarette off the ground because that's how it was. And when I went out there that night and I met with everybody at Cat's sister house, I said, look, this is my way of thinking. Whoever did this shit, they did it to make our area hot. They trying to take over or whatever. And they put us like in a fire and making people think that we are responsible for this shit. So I said, look, once I find out who's responsible for it, they gone. I'm going to kill them all. And at that very moment, after the meeting, I got pulled to the side. When I got pulled to the side, it was like, look, I did it. And the hit came from Pappy. I'm like, oh, shit. And see, I talked to Pappy earlier. And if you listen to Pap. And you listen to our communication, no indication, nothing. Well, Pappy was locked up during that time, right? Pappy no? was back locked up. That's why, like I told you, the hit happened. Because he got remanded back, and they sent him to trial, and he got convicted of having that Derringer in his boots. 